this is one of those jobs where sometimes things just don't go right and there's a lot of unexpected that happen along the way and all you can do is just make the best of them oh it's so embarrassing so embarrassing so update here you know we had the uh, vacuum issues and they wasn't wanting to pull right and we had fan issues and uh, you know you got to trust you have to trust your equipment, you have to trust your sensors, you have to trust what you use. And I did, to my demise. Um, so my vacuum sensor quit working properly and it wouldn't drop below uh, 2,000 microns. Another guy shows up, it just didn't look right. We go to experiment, we hook up his uh, Micron gauge, 450, steady. We take and unhook mine and, and let it sit and isolate everything, steady, stays, doesn't budge. What that tells me was the vacuum probably finished the very first night that it pulled overnight. And because my gauge wasn't reading right, I never freaking knew it. And until he talked me into trying a different gauge because I had way too much confidence in mine. It got me. It freaking got me. It is what it is though. You know, nothing we can do about it now. I just try to let it go. We got the circuit back online, it's been running. Uh, they are having some alarm issues I got here, but checking the alarm log, they lost flow. It looks like one of the pumps stopped at one point for some reason. So I'm looking into that now. And uh, just seeing, seeing what's going on since we were here last week, trying to get everything finished up. So. Trust your equipment, but don't be too trusting. That's the lesson here. Don't be too trusting. This is one of those jobs where sometimes things just don't go right, and there's a lot of unexpected that happen along the way, and all you can do is just make the best of them. You're not going to be able to make it perfect, uh, you know, a perfect job at that point, but you can make it a good job still. A, a customer that's satisfied and taken care of is better than one that isn't, obviously, because things happen that neither one of you could have expected, right? Things that happened here, he, he, he couldn't have predicted, we didn't predict. We ran into various issues that we didn't see coming. You just gotta take the blows as they come, guys. We were having trouble with compressor C with the unloaders and the fans. So the unloader needed to be exercised some more after we got everything put back together. So we did that, that really helped. Um, and then the fans uh, were having trouble to controlling properly, mostly due to the unloader. But I also tuned in the fan staging sequence a little bit to help with that. So the great part is uh, the unloader is working great now. Uh, so this chiller is back online. It was tripped out and it looks like what tripped out was, was that flow issue. It started a whole sequence of events that tripped all kinds of alarms. It also looks like they had a, uh, a some kind of brownout or a power surge or something because it caused a, a major uh, imbalance 
and it tripped a bunch of uh, uh, motor tip alarms, it tripped contactor alarms, plus the flow alarm, it had just several alarms, all happened at the same time. That tells me that so there's a, some kind of power surge or something happened, caused the system to freak out, and it, it just triggered a whole bunch of stuff all at one time, within a short time frame. Anyway, I'm confident calling this one complete. Happy customer. We are gonna get this installation repaired, so I'm gonna make that call next, get in touch with the installation guys, and have them come uh, get that fixed up. We do have some more centrifugal repairs we're gonna get back to that we haven't got to finish. And so uh, those CVHEs that we had all the leaks and we had to do the economizer gaskets, all that on, we're gonna get back there. We're gonna get that finished and we're trying our best to get caught up on our projects and close out 2020 strong. Uh, it may be 2021 by the time you're seeing this, uh, kind of depending on how the upload schedule goes, but we're gonna finish with a good year and we're gonna do it right.